Okay, um, a more practical question. Pre-budget submissions, are they worth doing? Are they taken account of? Um, what's your thoughts on that? I'll start because I'm actually working on mine at the moment. Um, <laughs> um, I was talking with our Director of Public Policy about it this morning. Yes, they are important. They do get looked at, they do get read. They may not get read by the Treasurer, but they certainly get read within Treasury. Uh, Treasury are always looking for good ideas, quite seriously. Uh, they're always looking for uh, um, directions. They're looking not only for savings, but better ways to spend money, intuitive ways to spend money. So they're important from the Treasury perspective. They're also important if you're in the business of public policy of mm. laying out a course of action for what you believe in or for the direction of the country. So, look, it's the old story. If you're not in the debate, don't whine about the outcome. So, you know, the point is to get in there, put forward your perspective and argue your case. I think also, look, I, I think that we all think of pre-budget submissions and think federal government. If you in, have any dealings with state government, get into what they call the Burke process as well. Um, I agree with Inez. They're looking for ideas, but also it adds credibility to your case because it's very easy for a government to turn around to you and say, well, where was your submission? Well, I've only just heard of this. Um, get them in. Get them in if you can before Christmas. They don't have to be hugely comprehensive. They don't have to be, you know, dissertations. They need to be an outline of your case and your key narrative, and they are important things. They're also an important discipline for you to keep your eye on exactly what it is you're trying to achieve, and it's a good way of, of, of using it for a, for a vehicle for engagement, face-to-face -face engagement with Treasury, face-to-face -face engagement with the various ministers' office. So I, I'm a big believer in them. Uh, I would hesitate to suggest that you actually engage in a budget process at this point. If you're someone like the AI group that um, have a significant presence, then you can certainly engage in the process from now. Uh, if people in this room have not already started engaging in the budget process, I would strongly suggest that most of you turn your attention directly to election policy. I think that uh, if you were to try and put your resources into influencing uh, what largely will be locked away by the end of January, fe mid-February, then I think you're wasting whatever your limited resources to that activity are, having been a part of the budget process, uh, like, like Richard and, and Innes as well, but at, at a different level. So I think that where, where you would prefer to spend your dollar and your, your resources, people or otherwise, is in trying to start speaking to both uh, the coalition and also the government about policy outcomes that you're seeking at an election time uh, where uh, obviously the hearts and minds uh, will be up for grabs.